we commit to net neutrality, we also want net equality. Because the job to be done as a nation is massive. The job to be done to connect a billion Indians is massive. Let's talk about the Government of India's priorities for communication services. The Government of India has articulated a compelling vision of Digital India. They've talked about broadband for all. A national optic fiber network which connects every single gram panchayat in this country. 100 smart cities. M governance through Sabka Vikas and Make in India. Where are we, however? We, are, we have barely begun the journey. 950 million mobile customers, there are only 86 million broadband customers. We are part of the privileged few who are on broadband. But as an infrastructure provider, as an internet provider, this country of ours is ranked 142 in the world. We have amongst the lowest levels of infrastructure when compared to the rest of the world. And our broadband speeds are way lower than global average. So we've got a compelling vision. We've got a compelling vision of Sabka Internet, Sabka Vikas. We've got an ambitious program that the government has set out for ourselves. But the reality is that we are far from meeting that vision. Let's look at the present financial health of the industry. As an industry, we have a cumulative debt of 300,000 crores. Our investments over the last 20 years, 15 years, 670,000 crores. Our return on investment, there's a lot of talk about the margins this industry make. The return on investment in this industry is just 1%. I would be better off putting my money into savings bank deposit than into this kind of a return. And many operators today make negative returns. So what is needed? What is needed is while the investment in the last 20 years has been 750,000 crores, the last chart was 15 years, and 750,000 crores in the last 20 years, like I said, to make the internet available to a billion Indians, to make the internet available, the industry needs to invest over 500,000 crores in just five years. So you've got a very strange conundrum. Investment that is required, which is massive, the return on capital, that is just 1%. And the question is, why will that investment come? How will that investment come? So what is needed? Three things. First is a financially sustainable industry. Without this investment in infrastructure, without this 500,000 crores, there will be no internet. There will be absolutely no internet. We will be a dark country with just the infrastructure that we have. What is also needed is an open and pro-innovation environment. What we are very clear is that we as a telecom company don't do a bunch of the innovation. The innovation is happening around us. It's happening by the device players. It's happening by OTT players. And it also must be by telcos. We love the OTT world because OTTs are the reason for our internet business. Without OTTs, we would not have an internet business. Let me, let me, give, you, let me give you some facts. Our voice growth as an industry, while we are growing voice, the growth of voice is slowing down. The growth of the mobile internet is the growth of the future. And let's face it, what people use is not a megabyte or a gigabyte. What people use is Facebook, what people use is YouTube, what people use is music, entertainment, commerce. We want the choice for customers to decide what they need to do. We need affordable smartphones and we need vibrant apps communities. But one of the things that we need as an industry, and this is the only ask as an industry, is that we must have the same service, the same rules for the same service. Basic communication services are subject to a whole bunch of rules as an industry. We have to contribute to rural infrastructure through contributing to the Rural Development Fund. We have to contribute to license fees which run into 15, 16 percent. We have to contribute to national security obligations to prevent misuse, to prevent terrorist attacks, and there is a lot of work that we need to do to actually make sure that these calls are monitored in terms of lawful intercept and so on. The only ask that we have is that 
when anybody is providing the same basic communication services, the same voice services, they must be subject to the same rules.